Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? Have you clicked on the notification bell? If you haven't, please do so now. I do not know. Is that you can actually frighten the enemy. You can frighten the devil. A lady was trying to deliver a baby. And there was a demonic midwife trying to do the, the delivery. So the delivery was becoming difficult. Simply because an agent of Satan too was there. The lady was in pain. The matron or whatever the delivery woman was saying, push, 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 push. When life was almost going out of this woman who wanted to deliver a baby. Sir, please. Go next door. Call the prayer woman. To call. The midwife said, Why? Why should we call? Don't, don't, touch, don't touch me. Just call. Call the woman to call. Because as this, as life was getting out of her, she saw four creatures surrounding her. Pinching her. Pinching her. She said, Don't you see these people pinching me? Me do have said, I cannot see anybody here. So leave, leave me alone. All Immediately she insisted. The four creatures running her. They talked to each other. Let's leave. Let us leave now. Don't let that woman meet us here. She, she, will, she will deal with us. Let's, let's go. You remember what happened to Dimososa? So you remember what happened to Dimososa? So let, let us leave now. Before this woman comes. The woman who was about to deliver a baby was hearing the discussion. Of these evil creatures. She now insisted more. Bring mama. Leave me alone. Bring mama ladra. So they went and brought the woman. Before Mama stepped in, the demons have vanished. Fact, Mama just said, In the name of Jesus. And baby came out. That's what she did Because the demons there are afraid of her. May you terrify your enemies. Oh, <laughs> You don't understand the prayer. <laughs> if you don't want that prayer, your amen will be louder than that. May you terrify your enemies. <laughs> and she was very unhappy. Her blood pressure went up. She couldn't eat. She couldn't sleep. She was so sad. In the night, she had a voice. See, see yourself. You only have one child. There is no problem yet. You can. Go and marry somebody else. Now that the man has been stolen by your friend. See. That is poison in your cupboard. Give it to the child. Kill this child. So that you are free. Then, then you, can start, you can start your life from the scratch. She said no. I will not do it. But the first kept said, do it. Do it. Do it. At that level, she started to call blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. As she was calling blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. The bell rang in the middle of the night. Uh, who is this in the night? Who is this? She opened the door to find her husband prostrating on the floor. That he was sorry. It's the enemy. Is this? Is that? And that uh, 
this will not happen again. See what the enemy wants to do to her. There are people, the enemy just wants to terminate them before their glory appears. That's why I'm going to pray this prayer. Uh, it needs a tenfold volcanic amen. Any power that wants you to die before your glory appears before you leave this holy ground they must die in the name of Jesus One man thought he had trouble. He followed his friend to a prophet somewhere. I got there. And the prophet began to pray. The prophet was praying seriously. He had a copy of the Bible in his hand. But he noticed that during the prayer, this prophet never mentioned the name of Jesus. All he was just shouting. Yes. Eleda. 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 Creator. Just shouting creator. In creator's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Was then he started getting jittery. What kind of place is this? And he confronted him. Say, are you not a prophet? Say yes. Why are you not praying the name of Jesus? To so his shock. The man looked at him angrily. Say, Don't mention that name here. Ah, say my friend. Let's go. Say, let's go. You, you can go. But you are already in trouble. One white goat. One black goat. One white cow. One black cow. If you don't bring that one, you are finished. Say, I know where. I won't bring anything. Say, so so well. Your wife is pregnant now. And the pregnancy is twins. If you don't bring them, all three are gone. Say, hey, how did you know? Voice. Oh. He listened to the voice of Satan through the voice of his friend. And now the feedback is what you are saying. May you not hear the wrong voice. In the name of Jesus, let your amen be loud. There are multitudes of dreams that men push away because they don't know the meaning, it now backfires on them. Strange marks all over the body. You just see these strange marks and you don't know how they got there. And in physical, they are not on the body. It means the enemy has marked the person for harm or destruction. It's very sad. And this is the origin of unexplainable hatred and the spirit of rejection. <laughs> The way your body has been hosing this terrible smell for the past few days. Oh, bad. Ah, I think you need to work more on your personal hygiene. If not, ah, people will be running away from you. Personal hygiene. <laughs> personal hygiene. Like you're talking about personal hygiene between me and you. Who is clean? You know me very well now. I take care of myself when and I've had my bath this morning, but you haven't. You're smelling like spoiled fish. I think. You need to check yourself spiritually. Mm. And I can actually come back to clean it. This could mean three things. One, 
you are under the bondage of witchcraft oppression they're oppressing you two you are under the bondage of familiar spirits they're oppressing you and three you definitely have some spirit friends that are making marks on your body to deal with this you need to surrender your life to jesus you need to repent from every known sin and you need to pray the aggressive prayer of let no man trouble me for i bear in my body the mark of the lord jesus christ and you need to laminate your life with the blood of jesus particularly before you sleep in a voice as loud as fire make this proclamation the evil marks <laughs> There are multitudes of dreams that men push away because they don't know the meaning, it now backfires on them. Self duplication. You are just one person. Now you are seeing another person looking like a twin to you, exactly like you, talking like you, walking like you. This is a strange dream. Because the meaning of that is that one way or the other in the spirit realm, the devil has given you a twin substitute stealing your virtues or casting away all the good things that is meant for you or that which you are supposed to have is the one going away with them it's a mystery that someone in the spirit realm when they call the person say john Boon, where are you something else goes forward say john Boon, this is your blessing take this substitute goes and collects it by the time john Boon, proper john Boon now turns up the blessing has been given out for somebody any power hidden or not hidden collecting what is meant for your good shall surrender them tonight they shall surrender them they shall surrender them they shall surrender them in the name of jesus let your heaven roll like thunder There are multitudes of dreams that men push away because they don't know the meaning, it now backfires on them. Let me tell you a few of the killer dreams. You have seen yourself, you are on top of a bridge, somewhere high, and you are looking down with fear. This is the devil's attempt to pull you down from your high position. Hello? What do you mean? I just left the hospital. What? You mean we lost another patient? Baby, what's that look on your face? What happened? Come on, talk to me. What happened? There's a tense patient we're losing in three months. Really? <laughs> And at the rates at which this, this is going, I think I'm going to lose my position as the chief medical director. Don't stop it. Kurimiko. Go show me what I'm saying. You cannot go down. I just listened to a message from Dr. Lukoya some minutes ago. And I think it's meant for this situation. Okay. So, Anybody planning your downfall, eh? they will fall, baby. Let us pray. What is the way out of this one? You ask the Holy Spirit to carry you to your desired place. You reject every call of demotion upon your life. You will refuse to come down. You will respond like Elijah responded. They told Elijah, Man of God, come down. He said, No, I will not come down. 
So instead of me coming out, let fire come down. Now you will shout this loud and clear. Demonic magician hired to pull me down. Be wasted in the name.